Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. Today, as you can see here, I am filming a grocery haul. So this is a single week grocery haul for a single person living in Ontario, Canada. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I have here up at the top are two packages of the Compliments No Sugar Applesauce. Those were $2 each. I really like those. It's just like a easy way to get in a fruit, but also they're very convenient and they don't go bad, so that's really nice. Here I have some Oikos Greek Vanilla Yogurt. That was on special for $4.99 for the 750 gram container. And then I also have some Quaker um, granola cereal, and that was on sale for $3 this week. And then I also have some Compliments raspberries. I typically like to get fresh raspberries, but the fresh raspberries that they had weren't very good, like they didn't look very good, and they were also $3, whereas this whole bag was only $3.99, and that's for 400 grams. So this is basically just like something that I would typically eat for breakfast. I don't eat breakfast every day, but I do like having some Greek yogurt and granola and some fruit. So that's that. Next over to the side here, I have some mushrooms and cream of mushroom soup. Um, today is Saturday when I'm filming this and what I'm actually gonna be doing this afternoon, or actually not even this afternoon, the whole day, is making a um, chicken thing in the crock pot. So back, I think I believe in June, I bought a lot of boneless skinless chicken breasts and I have still a lot of them in my freezer. So I wanna try to use them up but the typical way that I use to cook chicken kind of isn't interesting to me anymore. So I'm trying to find different ways to cook chicken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute up some mushrooms and then I'm going to um, basically add them to the crock pot with some chicken and some cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to cook that all day and serve it on rice. And that's going to be one of my main meals for the week. So that's that. The mushrooms were each $2 and the Campbell's cream of mushroom soup was on special for a dollar this week. Oh, in case I didn't say this, the raspberries were $3.99. I think I might have, but anyways. <laughs> the next thing I have here are just some Campbell's soups. Um, this isn't for this week in particular. This is just to have in case, um, for whatever reason I don't wanna eat, whether it is my lunch or my dinner, I have a soup that I can heat up. Um, so I got the garden vegetable and the class and chicken noodle, um, and I really like those. They're not the healthiest thing, but I mean, I like them, so I'm going to buy them. And they are also on special for a dollar this week, so all of those were four dollars. Over to the side here, I got some butter. So this is just some butter sticks, so they're the ones that are pre-packaged. They were more expensive. Um, where I am in Canada, butter, if it's not on sale, is usually about five dollars for the pound of butter um, and this was $5.50 but I did like it this way because I can put three of those in the freezer and just leave one out. I don't have butter on like toast or anything. I actually prefer margarine but when a recipe that I'm doing calls for butter, I do prefer to use what it asks for so that's why I got that. So as I said, that was $5.49. Then over here, I have some um, white kidney beans, um, they were 87 cents. I have a bushel of carrots that was $1.99. I have an onion and that was $1.87. And then I have some steam and go potatoes and that was um, $1.50. All four of those things plus chicken broth that I actually already have in my freezer, or not freezer, my cupboard, sorry, <laughs> is going to make myself a soup for this week. So that's another thing that I'm going to eat along with my mushroom chicken. That's kind of going to be my two staple meal plans for the week. And then I also did pick up a Taylor Farms dill pickle salad. This is $4.99, which is quite expensive for a bag of salad, but um, I really like these. I was eating these a lot more in the summer, but I had stopped when I was trying to like get my grocery spending under control. So I still bought myself one of these. You can actually get these at Costco for, I think, $3.69, but I do not have a Costco membership and there isn't a Costco near me, but I do sometimes go to Costco when I'm home with my parents. So if I can get them there, then I will, but obviously I couldn't get to one, so I just bought it at the grocery store for $4.99. I also think that when you buy it at the grocery store, it is slightly smaller than the one at Costco, but yeah, if you haven't tried those Taylor Farm salads, I would highly recommend it if you like dill um, if you like bagged salads like they're very very tasty my favorites are the dill pickle and the everything bagel 
So anyways, yeah, that was it for my grocery haul for the week. All of this stuff in total came to just under $42. So I'm able to stay pretty close to my budget for about 40 to $45 a week for my groceries. Um, but again, I know that a lot of that is to do with the fact that my main, one of my main staple meals, sorry, is that mushroom chicken. And I already have the chicken, so I did need to buy that. Um, and then I also already have rice because I haven't been eating as much rice recently. So I still have like, a lot of rice left because I always buy the big bags of rice. So anyways, yeah, that is it for today. I think this grocery haul will actually <laughs> work out. Um, I don't think it's going to be particularly long, but that's okay. I have tried to film a grocery haul so many times over the last like month or so and every single time when I go to edit it, it just like isn't good, but I'm pretty sure this one's going to work out. So yeah, I'm super excited. So yeah, this video should be up on Saturday um, or for some reason like the internet is really bad, it'll be up on Sunday, but my next video will be up on Monday and that's going to be my November budget. So anyways, yeah, I hope you all have a great weekend and I will talk to you again on Monday. Bye everyone.